So for this recipe, we'll need some onions, potatoes, some yummy prawns, and some karela, bitter god as it's known. So we need about three onions. We need to cut them really long and thin. And then we need some potatoes. So you need to cut them into fine cubes. Uh, about three potatoes will do just fine. And some prawns, like a handful of them, like six, seven maybe. And um, karelas, you just like need about five, six of them. So you slit the karela into half and use a little teaspoon and scoop out all, this, all the seeds from the inside. And you need to cut it really fine so it cooks properly. So I've chopped up all my ingredients. That's the karela, the onions, potatoes, and the shrimp. The prawns are marinated with some ginger garlic paste and, um, and some salt. So we'll start by taking some oil in a pan and we just need to heat up the oil a little bit before we start adding in the onions. Um, now the onions actually make the dish quite tasty so the more you throw in the more tastier the dish will be. But I've just taken about three medium sized onions for this recipe. So at this point I like to put in a teaspoon of salt. The salt helps uh, the onion to release its moisture and helps it cook even faster. Now I'll continue sauteing the onions until I get that golden brownish color and then I'll be adding in my potatoes. Now this is the most crucial step because the potatoes and help absorb the bitterness from the karela and it makes it a bit more edible than otherwise eating it on its own. Also we need to fry the potatoes so we get that brownish color and so it, it makes the dish even more tastier. Now with my potatoes nearly done and I, I just need a larger surface to work with so I'm using another dish to cook the karela. Now even though karelas are mostly disliked by all, it does have a lot of vitamins and also minerals such as iron, copper and potassium and this makes it a great option for those who suffer with diabetes. I mean I personally never used to like eating karela but until I was shown this method of doing it with potatoes, I actually started enjoying this dish very much. And it's ever since been one of my favorites. And I, I usually um, also like to cook it with some shrimp just because it makes it a bit more tastier. I've used uh, frozen raw shrimp in, for this recipe. But if you've got uh, any fresh uh, prawns lying around that would make it even more tastier. Um, please also don't be restricted to just a, a six or seven prawns. You can add in as many as you like. I've just had a few left in the fridge. Now I like to uh, fry uh, the prawns and the karela until 
I get that dark brown color as you can see here frying the karela also helps reduce the bitterness and I would definitely recommend frying it rather than steaming the karela because it tastes so much better when it's fried So now that your karela and the prawns are all fried nicely together you need to start um, adding in the remaining mixture to the dish and give it a couple of minutes to cook just fry it on a low flame for a couple of minutes until it's until it, the potatoes are, are done now you want to stir the mixture thoroughly and um, leave it for a couple of minutes but also you need to add in some salt at this point now i'm adding a teaspoon of salt but it's up to you and your preference how much you'd like to add but obviously please uh, taste the dish before you add any more salt to it okay from this point on it would take another 10 to 15 minutes on a low medium flame to fry and cook the ingredients thoroughly so I would suggest uh, that you stir it now and just leave it for a while to cook untouched and just stir it in between as and when required And so that's how I make my karela bhaji with a bit of extra potatoes and a little less uh, bitter gourd because I just don't like the bitterness in it. And you can always have it with uh, pita bread or rotis or rice or anything that drifts your boat. But this is how I make it. So please do give it a try and let me know how it turns out in the comment section below. Thank you.